Right now we're in uh, Charlevoix, which is about an hour and a half from Quebec City in Canada. So you have Canada, you have the province of Quebec, and then in Quebec, the province, you have the city of Quebec City, and then we're about an hour and a half. Yeah. You're really at the top right now, so you feel like there's no bar, bar, barrier, so yeah. there's no fence between you and, and outside, so but yeah. It, instead of an infinity pool, it's an infinity terrace. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great way to put it. No, it's pretty. Still, ah, no, I'm kidding. No, it's uh, it's really thick glass. It's not really moving. It's meant to to hold weight. And so here you see the Saint Lawrence River, and it's getting like narrower and closer to Quebec. So, so your land goes from from the street there and goes about 400 meters back back there. Yeah. So. So it's a, it's a family project. So it started like before we was born with the, our grandfather uh, bought a piece of land with some of his son. So, well, this is, was the only building we had here. So it was, that's, that's a cabin my uncle built. It's part of the family, so we didn't want to destroy it. So we tried to put some trees underneath it and pull it with a bulldozer. We used like trees as, as key and we pull it and we were like, Oh, if, if it make it, it make it. But if it doesn't, well, that's it. But it, it did make it. That's all cedar outside, but it was natural cedar like this. So it was white, uh, but with the time it became all, almost black because it, the sun burned it. So all the cabins are named uh, with, uh, with animals. So. so this is the mask. Mask. So mask means bear in Inu language, which is na native language. Everything that we do is it's, it's having cabins that are open to nature. And you'll see all the cabins have like really big windows openings outside. So, so now we're entering the first Maikin section. So Maikin means wolf. That's the first one we built. Um, so yeah, we, we wanted to, uh, to have a cabin that was small, but also really open to nature. I mean, we, we grew up here and one of the things we liked to do was uh, going in the middle of the forest with our father and just look at the stars. And we're like, oh yeah, we need to have a cabin that we see stars. So we started with a square and we're like, oh, what if, what if we make a part of the roof glass? It's part of this forest also, like it's part of the environment and I mean the stars have been something that have been fascinating every population, every generation. It's so it's a really simple move, I mean you just cut out a little bit of the ceiling and this, but it changes everything. Yeah, but it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it looks simple, it's, but it's not oh, really? that simple. Tell me. Okay. The, well, this, this is the first generation, so we, we made like the, the middle. What's more complicated is the structure, and it's also you don't want water to come in and stuff like that. So it's, and here we have winter, so we have snow, and so during the, so yeah, it's complicated. This reminds yeah. me a little bit of a camper. Yeah, that's, this, this cabin is mostly for a couple, but let's say you, you go camping with, with your family, the kids need a place to sleep, so it's, yeah, not really complicated, just need, so like that, and then you make a bed, here there's a place to, and it makes a bed. If, for example, you don't have a kid, but then you fight with your girlfriend, 
you still have a place to sleep. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kidding. No fighting here. <laughs> Everyone great. that comes that, here is happy. That took you a minute or less. It's, it's really like camper van. So and you want it to be simple to use. As if not, people won't use it. And there you design you this. Yeah. So me and Simon design everything you see. So yeah. So that's the warehouse. That's where the magic happens. So where we build the, all the little cabins. The mic and you saw is uh, that's one in, in process. So that's Simon, the brother. The brother. <laughs> so hi. So you're working on this then? These are mic and they are like the smallest cabins we have. So we're building eight new ones right now. Uh, this is the one that offered the like the sky view of. This, this is going to be cut. This, this was made to, when, to make sure that this is square. But then when we're going to put the window, this is going to be cut. And the windows goes up and, and then you see outside. You feel outside. <laughs> the bread comes in almost before windows or anything. You do the whole thing here. Yeah, we do the whole thing and then we take the big uh, yellow thing. It's a loader. That, you can carry an entire little house on nothing? Yeah, it's not that, it's not that heavy. Okay. Because you don't need to go on highways. No, it's exactly. But they were built also to go on highway. So if they have to move at some point. The idea of the place, repair the Royal, what do yeah. you mean? So the, um, the idea behind it is to take the, well, the Boreal is for the forest. So the, the forest we have, we're surrounded by is uh, the Boreal forest. We wanted to use it as a, a way to go back to the essential. So that's why it's just like big windows looking outside. And so that's the chicken house. <laughs> Even for the chicken is to have a nice view on the outside. <laughs> There's a lot of side projects that comes with this project. Sometimes Simon and I are too uh, like uh, enthusiasm about everything. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so the next cabin, it's called the she ship. So it means ducks. So talking about ducks, <laughs> it means ducks in Inu. We have two right now. So they're made out of shipping container. So it's a big. 53 foot shipping container, so an I cube, so it's a little bit taller for insulation, so it's better. We cut it in half and made two cabins out of it. So we can go like outside maybe first. Yeah, I'm curious and, uh, if you have any glass. Let's see. <laughs> Do we have glass? <laughs> so it's always like the same. So from this side, it's the only side where it doesn't look like a container. Yeah, we like to see the metal. We, uh -huh. we like to, to have the, you know, it's rubbish. It's 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 odd you, you like a, a shipping container in the middle of a forest i mean in the city it's something in the middle of the forest so the inside's all cedar yeah so well it's good for uh, humidity it's warm and it smells good so it's uh, it's local product so what we did here is a little sofa we have a cushion here that makes it pretty comfy just to sit and Look outside, you have the full-size window in front of you. So. so you took most of that wall off? Uh, yeah, actually we cut the shipping container in half, so uh, there was no wall here. So that's the middle of the shipping container. So the idea was not to leave any kind of metal in the interior. We had to make a choice at some point, because here it's... We were in Canada and winter is pretty cold and the cabins are all four seasons. So it's really important, it's really well insulated. So we had to cut the thermal. You cannot have the, the, the cold to come in with the metal. So we chose from inside was better. And because, to insulate from the inside. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because we wanted to have the metal outside. So yeah. Right now it's a composting toilet. All this part is going to disappear. It's going to be like a fully, uh, yeah. and then it's going to be a shower and everything. So. What do you think about building with containers? I, I would not say it's cheaper or easier. Mm -hmm. I would say it's just different. It's a good way to be creative and have fun doing it. But I mean, it's not cheaper. I would not do it if my, my purpose was to save money. Because if you cut a hole, you have to rethink, I mean, the structure of it because it was made not to be cut. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
at the end, it's just the, the only shipping container you have is the, the exterior, the look of it. And the, the fact that you live in a shipping container because it's, it was made to be that size. So yeah. it's, it's that size, but then... So was it difficult to insulate it for winter and summer? Um, not difficult, but it's... Well, I would say it's hard to be efficient as an, in a home because you don't want to lose that much of space. If you're doing it by the exterior, then it's easier and you can like insulate more. But by the interior, as much as you put insulation, it's getting shorter and shorter inside. So it's, you don't want a narrow space, but then you do it probably it's... We've done some stuff more complicated than insulating a shipping container. It's not, it's not that bad. They've been here for three winters right now and it works fine. Who's that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour! Utapi means roots. That's the only cabin we didn't design. This cabin was built by my father. He bought it with my mom and they, they built it by their hand. And at that time it was pretty small. I um, don't know if we'll be able to get in here. Oh yeah. So, it's really different, but like, it's really the family one. So like, it's, we built a little cabin just right there for kids. So it's like people can come and sleep, and mostly for kids, but I mean, I sleep in there when I sleep here, so <laughs> I guess I'm still a little bit of a kid. And then so people don't fall around and close it. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> and you used a piece of tree. Yeah, so that's a tree that to hold it that we cut down from the, the land here, so. So you have a real tradition in the family of building, I mean. I, I would say yes, but not in, in the way that People maybe, it was always like side projects for my father. He taught us a lot about building and like electricity and everything, but he was not an electrician, he was not a carpenter, but he was good at everything. He made this part first. We call it roots because the, we wanted to do this project because our father wanted to have a camping around here. He wanted to do a campground around here with the lands, the two lands he owned. It was like a retirement project, but unfortunately he, he died of cancer a year before uh, retiring. So, well, we, me and Simon, uh, we, we wanted to, we had the land, we had some ideas. So at, at the beginning we were supposed to do like a family business with the campground, but then as he died, we kind of fell apart the idea. But then a couple of years later, we came back. We started like the, this projects with a private loan. So the first cabin, the first mask was Simon's private house. So the bank said like on this loan, yeah, that's how we were able to start. It was Simon's house and then we put it to rent and then we did the main building and the two first Mikan and then two she ships and then three more Mikans. So everything is still like the working progress. We started with three cabins ready. Now we have 12 and by the end of the summer, we should have 20. We wanted to start that big, but like we have to be realistic in terms of money and everything. So, so here is the spa zone. So it's a shared play space. Everyone that comes here has the access to it. It's still like a work in progress, but then you have like the hot tubs. So we have six hot tubs. We just added some, so it's not finished yet. So that's the sauna here. So it's pretty warm inside. It's just, oh God, well, I mean, it's the, the benefit of it is still good in summer because after you do that, yeah. you're really, really warm. And then you go to the cold shower. So that you need to take your courage with your two ends and pull the cord here. So it's really, really fun when you get out of the sauna. Oh, that's Laika, hello. That's my dog. She's part of the experience. You done, Laika? Use any of the wood from this area? All the cedar, so all the cabins you saw, this one, the yeah. main building, the fence, everything, like it's made, even this is made of cedar. It's white cedar that comes from 40 minutes from here. So a lot of this area has been logging. 
Yeah, well, even here, it has been, but like the, you see the forest is not that old. Mm -hmm. uh, the trees are not that big too. But yeah, so there's plenty of people that live from that here. This is the second generation of Mikan. So you see, uh, it's not white anymore because we quickly burn the outside. Yeah. That, that's what gives the color to the cedar. It started with the principle of the, the Japanese tradition. Is it a yeah, so, band type Yeah, it, it's kind of, well, it's not, it's not quite it, like it's not uniform. So, so it won't last as long, but it still give another protection. It's really just burn. To burn wood, is that easy? You just flank, put a flame? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of easy. But I mean, if you would really do the whole technique, the, the yeah. thing is they don't burn it with, like they put it in a stove and then it, it burns and then it's really from inside. But this was just a burn, like it with burn. a flame, okay. and yeah. But like you don't want to burn it too much. And... But this this is area is really like to the sun. But if you go like to the the front or like here, it's more brown, brownish. This generation of Mikan, it's a little bit bigger. So the table, well, we, we did, did change a little bit of design. This is just a little bit taller, so it's like you feel like you have a little bit more of space inside. So the, yeah. the window, the frame right now is the same than the first one we did. Uh, it's pretty functional, so we leave it that way. We're working on a third generation right now of Mikan and we're gonna change probably the, the way it's built, but... Were you paying yeah. attention to like this tree here is great. Yes. You frame that? I mean Yeah, so we we do wanted to get the the forest as close as we can, but then we were building the terrace and we were like, we cannot cut this tree because it's I mean it's a really nice tree and it's kinda of fun because the leaves come off at, during the winter so you get more of the skylight but then it's also like gives a little bit more of shade inside during the day. So you wanted to yeah, leave it there. Because even the color of it it's it just glows. It's great. Here you see there's storage, basic storage, so it's just like it's Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> quick. You just get stuff out. It takes about a second to, to pull that off and then you can move that, go here, and then get the extra part. It squeeze pretty tight so it's not gonna move during you sleep. So, I mean, for an adult, it's not that bad, but it mostly me it was meant for, for kid, but it's still like, I mean, I, I don't need more space and I'm almost six foot tall, so it's not that bad. And then, yeah, and then if you want to put it back up, it's not really long. Did you model it off for a certain type of camper or a certain... No, not really, but I mean, there's tons of camper that are meant I mean, they, they are made like that, so mm -hmm. it's not... It's, <laughs> and then that's the longest part, opening, opening back that, putting, and then there you go. Now you can sit and eat. And you have finger, I like this. Yeah, I mean, functional, right? it's it. functional. It's a bit more designed than just like a rectangle and, mm -hmm. and it works pretty great. And then it holds good, so. And there's just that hinge in the back. Yeah, so. But this thing here? Yeah, so because of the curve here. We like when stuff are different, so it's something odd. <laughs> you don't really <laughs> see and we're like, why not? <laughs> I see you provide the cabins also with uh, things you can use that are quite sturdy here. Yeah, you, you do have everything you need to cook. It's pretty basic, but you also, I mean, you have like the local kombucha. So we really work, we try to work as much as we can with local people. And it's not, I mean, you, you're not gonna like eat here every day, but when you're just passing by, mm -hmm. it's really functional. You have everything you would like need. So here is the electrical panel. So it's mm -hmm. hidden the. There's some people like, you know, with portable toilet, you have a little bit intimacy if you don't want to walk, but it's less than 45 seconds going back to the main building. So it's really like not that bad, even in the winter. So like the bed, we, we made it as like, it's not an area that fold backs or not because it's it's the main part of the building. It's people comes for the bed here. So they 
So you don't have to, to have a sofa because you have a bed, <laughs> which is way better than a sofa. So you can just like chill here. Reading a book here is like exceptional. Like you, it's, you don't get like, and like most of the people when they're, they're like in the, they're taking vacation, they're sad if it's raining. Here it's amazing. You're <laughs> definitely getting the water on your, like on, on your head. So you're feeling what it's like being outside, but in a controlled environment. So it's the best of both worlds. You get to experience the rain, but you're protected. All cabin are solar passive homes because of the big window, mostly south. So in the summer, with the leaf, it's still pretty chill, but in the winter, when the sun is down, and with the concrete floor, it's tucked the sun, and then it, it warms up the place naturally. You're really surrounded by the, the nature, so it's like 15 feet of glass going right through the floor. We put the window really in the floor, so it's like not just flush, so you see there, it's a little bit like under the floor. So then you have like really the perspectives. There's no trim at the bottom. So, and we really try to incorporate also like recycling uh, stuff. So like this was from a, a old warehouse around here that was destroyed, but we bought back like the old wood. Well, here you see it's still really rough, but at, at, at the top we like send it and just put it some color on it and stuff like that. We're really famous in Canada for log cabin and stuff like that, but I think that there's other stuff we, we can do that's also great. We really wanted to play with like metals, like the rough thing and like the natural and bring like the concrete and put it all together with like, we thought like having something that is still kind of modern, but in, in the forest. So the rooftop is pretty basic, it's just about having a private space and like, you know, you're not used to be at the top of the tree, so it's just like a different perspective of uh, the Boral Forest. I mean, having your coffee here in the morning is really fantastic. I mean, we, we want to see as much as we can, so that's, that's why we, the glass reeling and we're kind of at the canopy, but at the same time, you're kind of in the middle. You're in, at the top of the trees. It's, that's, that's the spirit of the project. So everything we do is to make it you, like, like you're, you're there. Thank you. So I call 89 Winnebago. That's my pro summer project. Let me see how the bed works. Yeah, we really like it. Everything is very minimalist in Camper, so it's made to be very like working well in very small areas. So those are well designed. It's sometimes they get old, but yeah, we reuse the kind of the same system, but we try to make it better. I can already see that your design is is more efficient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine is easier to do than those ones. It's so like Simon did a, one year in South America with the uh, Westphalia so it's like you know you, you learn to live in small space and at some point you know that space has to be done to be reused as other space that's two shipping containers so you have the 40 foot up there and the 20 foot there so the 20 foot holds the mechanical room and then the restroom and then these are the office and we have the little terrace we like playing with container we like making stuff different if we would love to do something easy we would not have uh, what we're doing right now <laughs> nothing we do is easy so that's my office we have simon's office so simon gets the corner office <laughs> So, and that's why we call it the corner office. Because it's still... Wow. So then we like that, to take risks. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and that wall is openable as well. 
So I guess when we work together, we can open that. Hello. And then so we can <laughs> communicate. So yeah, so when I'm working, and like, we were like very passionate about architecture, so we wanted to do something different. So we started drawing ourselves or our own cabins. So. But everything is like maybe sketch on paper and then we so yeah, you here you have like uh, the new sanitary we're building. It's that like the fire pit we're gonna build and stuff like that. So it's always like you know, it's it's always started with something pretty draft, <laughs> and then gets it gets real. But yeah, and then we work with friends and everything. So like for example, for the sanitary building, we work with a friend of us that lives in Mexico. He's a really good architect. So we're building this right now. So yeah, there it is. And we're not the architect. I mean, I, we're more like designers and we design building. So that, that's the third generation, Viking. It's not finished yet, but... That's not the door. <laughs> <laughs> They're mostly finished when they come here. That's a drawer. It goes all the way there. We changed the mechanism oh, here, so that. it's Can different. Yeah, actually, is that gonna be the first one I do it? But this one, like, it just get out all the way oh. up. So, but the thing is, it's more stable when it's on there. So, but then, yeah. So, do you see the new framing? So, it's more like commercial. Uh, so, we work with a local company and we build this, and yeah, it's hopefully it's gonna be better. I don't know. It's definitely more expensive again, so we'll see it. Yeah. I do like the smell of all of them. Uh, this uh, wood is very uh, aromatic. Now, now, of course, you are working on it, so it's probably more prevalent. Yeah, the smell of cedar, cedar. when we cut it, yeah. it's the most wonderful thing. I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah. I like it, but and it's when when it's finished, it still smells. So you see these ones, we burn it, we've burned them more. So that's why they're, they're darker. This, this is not hot. Okay. If here's our composting toilet and it comes into the soil. Oh. Here is the kitchen. We have our, some stuff to sit on. And here we have knives. We don't really use knives. We just use this to crunch okay. it. This is okay. our backyard door. We like to have all of our stuff open. So like when it rains, you can see the rain coming down. When I left here, I didn't see the benefit of being in the forest. Oh, we it was when you're that young, you don't realize what's fun. It's always wind, because it always lands. But then I came back here, and, I, and it's after like coming back here that I, I realized such a great place it was. I mean, I knew it was a great place because I wanted to start this mm. project, but I didn't realize it would be a great place full time. the spot for the cabins we just walk in the forest Simon and I and uh, it's really important like we we don't want to cut trees for nothing so we usually like try to s find some spot that trees are dead or also like here uh, old, old like a hundred years ago these lands were like uh, farm like they were growing stuff and so there's piles of rocks this is there were no tree and they were trying to grow some stuff around and there's just so many rocks so they were making pals yeah they were farming yeah so so well there there's obviously like it's it's hard to farm in this so they they made a lot of like pals and there's so many pals there's another one there there's another one there there's just tons of piles of rocks so we use them as place to build because there's no trees that have grown there and we use it also there's no there's no uh, dirt underneath it, so it's been there for 100 years, so it's never gonna move. It hasn't moved in the last 100 years, so it's, it's more natural. So we don't, we don't mess with the, the nature. What's repair? A uh, landmark, like? It's, but in French, we use it as something, not also just to position yourself, uh, like physically, like, but also like mentally, so it's, there's an, an, an homonym in French, uh -huh. uh, which is repère tout, but spelled differently. It means like little shelter for you to go in. It's like a cabin, but like, 
So there's, we play with words at the same time, so. But we really wanted to, to create a, a space that you feel comfortable, like uh, here we have really rough winters, like it gets, it gets to minus 30 degrees uh, Celsius in the winter, so it's really cold and like you don't really want to be outside, but it's really fun to feel it, like to, to get the experience of it without the discomfort that comes with it.